How are you doing YouTube and welcome to another episode of Skyblock, the end of Skyblock actually. I'm just having a bit of lunch, which I can't eat because my uh, hunger is totally full. So let me go into F5 and F1. Let me show you what I've been up to. Look at that. Yeah. I decided not to time lapse the rest of it. I thought, well, you get the idea. But I will show you now it's... Oh, it's, it's night time. Let's get up there quick. Let's get up there quick before the mobs start kicking in. And I'll show you what's going on. So I decided to have... I'm actually changing the floors up here. I'll show you around. Um, but I'm changing things up a bit because I looked on the wiki about Minecraft snow. And snow is not as fragile as I thought. So it doesn't melt if it's near a torch. Um, Enderman can't pick it up. It doesn't it doesn't turn into snowballs if water goes on it, as far as I'm aware. So water cannot destroy it. So I've made these spawn pads into snow. I'm making the walls into snow with like little strips coming down in like in line with these. And as you can see, I haven't finished that one. I've got as far as that. And the reason I'm using um, snow is because snow is a lot easier and quicker to get. So as you can see, it is at one, he's got eight, eight spawn pads and the center is over here. And it's gonna have a three by three hole and we're gonna have a cactus in the middle and we're gonna have loads of water. We're gonna do probably some on camera work on this um, for one or two episodes, not in a row probably. I'll probably try and split it up a little bit. But there's gonna be water trenches going everywhere. And, and I mean everywhere. And this is gonna be crazy cool in here. The only trouble is at night, it becomes extremely dangerous. So what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna bam, just light the place up a little bit, making it less dangerous. I mean, we're still gonna get spawns, but probably not as much. And I wanna keep an eye on those, those pads over there in particular, because I wanna make sure they are spawning on, on snow. If not, it's back to the original plan. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it in regards. Yeah, they are spawning. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before it gets dangerous. I've had a few explosions, a few deaths actually. Let's have a look at my statistics. Uh, deaths, four deaths now, um, all in there, all that related. But if we have a look down here, you can see the snow. It's not as bright as that. I mean, that looks cool at night, yeah, but. I kind of want snow because it's just subtle. It's like a contrast in colors. I don't want it just to be one color. I want to try and make this place look as as good as I can eventually. Um, that goes for these paths. These paths, these wall, uh, these walls and stuff will not all be uh, cobble. So yeah, I'm trying to make sure I, I kind of mix it up a little bit, making it less look a less cobble, a barren cobble like building site sort of thing but as you can see it's very subtle it's not as bright as that you know granted but it's subtle and it's not as in your face I do like that don't get me wrong but the only trouble is it's all cobble and I want to kind of change it up a little bit and I'm going for the 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 dark white underneath as you can see I've made some pens ready um, because off camera I've well on camera you saw um, some pigs which unfortunately fell to their death unless he's alive down there, I doubt it. Um, and there was a chicken that spawned over here. Um, I've also moved the path from behind um, the, the portal there because I noticed if we go over here and we look at the center of this, this hole here, this is the center where I'm standing here, this block here is not totally in line with my island over there. So, what does that mean? That means my OCD is going crazy. So what I've done is I've brought it out and brought it round, so it's less obvious. So now when you approach it at this angle, it doesn't matter. It's all it's centre. So yeah, I've got the pens ready. Hopefully we might get some spawns inside those pens. That would make life a lot easier. Um, been doing some off-camera stuff, like not too much cobble generating, um, because I'm trying to get some snow. And Greg is. He is, you're, you're the man, Greg, you're the man. I mean, look at this. So I've just been putting in this chest um, loads of snow, um, sorry, loads of shovels, and then I'll just go, what I've, I've worked out that one stone shovel gives me a stack and two. So there's four stacks of snow there, ready to go, which is cool. Um, in here, I've 
I'm taking, I've kept the dirt block there for now, but I've actually started growing the cactus, and all I do is just punch that for now. Uh, nothing major. And then that way, I just get cactus, which brings me to my next trick, actually. I want to change this up a little bit. Um, what I plan to do is I plan to go... Like this. Oh, I need some more sand. How many sand? How much sand did we get? Oh, we got quite a lot. And hopefully this is going to work. Oh, it is. It's going to work. Don't worry about it. It's going to work. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change this into because I I've it's come to my attention we haven't actually. I'm going to make this a little bit brighter up the top there. And. Put you away, put you away. I've um, got lots of melons now growing. We've had, I don't think I've got that much wheat. I've got 20 wheat. Oh, and um, when I was working on the mob grinder, uh, a zombie actually dropped some iron, which brings me to this as well. I've got 12 strings, so we're going to do that as well. Oh, so much going on in this episode. It's crazy. Have I got much wood? Where's all my wood? No, I haven't. But luckily, this tree is grown. We can actually make a bed. We can actually sleep, guys. We can actually sleep now. I can't believe that. Like, how many episodes in? I mean, what episode is this? 11? Could be wrong. Let me just check that. Two secs. Confirmed. Yes. 11. It is episode 11. I had to think. Got so many Let's Plays and stuff going on. I forget which, which episode is which. Okay, we've got loads of saplings, which means we don't... We could just burn them. As long as we got at least one. I've moved the tree slightly offset, so all the saplings fall on the island. You've also probably noticed um, some slabs underneath the grass. Now the reason for that is, at some point on camera, I'm going to be digging all this dirt up. Okay, uh, I'm going to be digging all this dirt up because I want to use it sparingly. So, and this is just going to become a path pathway. Or something like that. I'm probably just going to replace it with cobble for now and make this another, still a platform. Um, but this is not going to be grassland. Um, I need grass for specific reasons, and I want to try and get away from using too much wheat. Okay, so we're gonna we got nine by nine there. So um, how many how many nine nines? So there's eighty if you take that away. I think there's about eighty blocks of um, dirt there. The only trouble is we've got to keep one grass block. One grass block, okay? Because we've got to be very, very careful we don't dig the whole lot up. But then I'm going to replace it with cobble, maybe put a fence around it temporarily, and then we can use the soil for other things. But we are golden. We are golden. Give me my bed. So now, we don't have to worry about... Because... the. Um, I need to make the wall first. The only thing I've been finding difficult on, off camera is waiting for um, day and night because I get stuck to things to do. When all I want to do is build that. Um, the trouble is, as soon as night time comes, it becomes extremely dangerous. I could make more torches, granted. Yeah, you're right. But, yeah, too much effort. Um, where are we going to put my bed? There, I guess. Um but the good thing about this as well is if you notice in my chest, I've probably got lots of bones, lots of arrows. Because what happens is, once I go up there to start working again, all the skeletons and zombies drop all their loot. So I get up there and it's like it's like Christmas, man. It's like Christmas almost. But once that thing goes into full action, once, once that gets activated and they start dropping, man, will that drop. That, that will output a lot of mobs. And I'm not even joking. Um, I was also thinking about maybe um, incorporating more designs underneath it, like I don't know, uh, uh, maybe a villager villager sort of training booth, like underneath it somewhere up here, sort of like just like make a like a balcony and have a structure going up. I I don't know yet. I'm I'm going to think about it um, because we need to try and get infinite everything right we want to try and have a thriving we want to have a thriving civilization of just me <laughs> population of one uh we but i want to thrive on skyblock i don't want to be bodging scarper on it you know 
Oh, wow, we didn't even get to sleep in our bed. Yes, we do. Yeah, see? We made our bed and we didn't even sleep in it, but we did. Only just. Because it, the sun was, uh, the moon was going down, the sun was coming up. So, yeah, that's, that's that. I'm, I'm pumped for that. That's brilliant. Oh, yeah, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm so hypo this morning. I should not have had that coffee. Right, we've got one sugar cane. Okay, and then what we want to do is do something like this. See you later, torch. I might even be a little bit cheeky. I've got an idea. Just to make it a little bit more fancy. Let's try this. We might need to make another one. I'm going to put a sign there. And I'm going to put a sign. I don't want W on it, though. A sign there. No, no, sorry. It's the next one. So we're going to put a sign there. Yeah. And then what we're going to do is we could probably do the same for these two. Ah, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to work. I don't know, it might. No, it's not. Oh, we'll do them two anyway. We, we started something now. We might as well finish it. Just, you know. Just might as well do it. Just just, just to change it up a little bit. And not make it the same all the time. Sometimes I like to try new things in Minecraft. Just to make things different. Like, I could have bought... Uh, that, remember I started the small version on the time lapse? I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to bother. That's just too easy. And then I thought, yep. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with we're totally gonna go with um, making the big one, and I'm telling you right that I'm not joking. But to get all the cobble for that has taken the best part of a day. That has taken the best part of a day to make. Getting all the cobble going up there. Obviously, I haven't spent all the time on it, but I reckon three quarters of a day, roughly to half, at least half a day, easy peasy on that that's a lot of work right where were we oh yeah so we grab you there and what i might do is i might just go bam and bam uh I might actually change you two i don't want you up there i'm gonna have you there and I'm going to have you there. Yeah. I really want to go with that idea, though. I suppose I could make it go so it goes downwards. I don't know. I'm just going to make things comp more complicated than they need to be. If you want me to be honest. But uh, that will do for now, I guess. I wouldn't say I'm totally convinced. But that doesn't need to be there. We can salvage that. Sand is very, very precious. Very precious. So we've got to be careful. Sand and dirt, very precious materials. So we'll leave that in there, never to be seen again. Um, that way we'll come back to it eventually and we can make loads of books. If we get some cows or some sort of mob spawning. If mobs spawn, we are, we're in good shape. But they're not. So with the mob grinder, you probably won't see much of that. I might pop up there and if I can get up there safely I will show you what's been done off camera but I can't say that you're going to you, you kind of get the idea there's going to be water funneling into the middle um, in whatever respects um, but uh, yeah I, I got this design off of a, a YouTuber he's not that that popular but um, he's more popular than me anyway but um, yeah, I got that design, and I thought it was a really good design, and it looks impressive on Skyblock. I mean, look at that. That was amazing. It does look good. So, yeah. I think that's pretty much it, what I want to do today. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot else happening, because all it is now, and I'm getting this frame rate now and then. I don't know why. I get this random frame rate lag. Maybe it's the grinder. <laughs> um, I mean, it's vanilla. Vanilla, I might um, open it up to more RAM maybe might have to do that um but yeah there's there is a lot we can do but i wouldn't say there's not a lot i want to do right now until um once the mob grind is done that will open up a few more possibilities but we could have a look 
at some of the challenges wherever the book is. Where is the book? Blind. Okay, let's have a look at the book. Okay, milestone challenges. Build a cobblestone generator. Check. How do we? How do we? How do I make it look like I've done this? Can we go up? You can't really go up, can you? Can you go up? No, it doesn't look like you can go up without deleting. Oh, no. We need to probably... What I was going to do then, is I'm going to probably make make an episode of where I'm going to put... Rather than have these in a book, we're having them on signs. Yeah, we have like a little sign board somewhere, maybe. Okay, so I feel like I'm blabbing on a little bit. So I'm just going to go back up to the grinder. Check there's no creepers around here because... Um, done a small bit of off-camera work actually between this cut and last and uh, creeper got me check this out It's not all easy. So I mean up here when after a night if you le let the night kind of go through a Little bit so mobs start spawning up here becomes really dangerous You get cornered by I think I had about four creepers coming down this alleyway and I had to kind of fend them off um, One of them blew up though. It was really bad but it's pretty much intact now. I think I've done the necessary repairs, I think. Actually, I better check the wall. I don't think I have. Let's check the wall here, quick. Yeah, I think I have, I've fixed it. Okay, I'm not sure about the top there though. So let's go and have a quick look at the top. And then I'm gonna call it an episode here. Lots of progress today. Yeah, as you can see, I haven't finished that one yet. Um, oh. Totally didn't even jump. Fail, fail without fail. <laughs> it gets a lot. It gets a bit choppy up here. I noticed that the frame rates do drop a tremendous amount. So pretty much off camera, all I'm going to be doing is doing this. Next episode, we're going to definitely take care of the soil um, situation down down below. I think that's going to be the next port of call. Um, it's nothing major, but it's something I I really want to get done. Um, because I want to kind of concentrate on maybe making a tree farm. Ooh, frame rate, check that out. This is what I mean, it's, there's a lot of frame rate, but I think uh, my launcher or my Minecraft is not like allocate, I haven't allocated enough RAM to it. So I might have to allocate a little bit more RAM to it, make it a little bit more smooth. But yeah, you get the idea here. I'm just gonna literally, this is just for looks really. This is not really for any particular reason because I just wanna, like I said, I want a bit of contrast in the in the trap. I don't want it all to be cobblestone. I wanna have a little bit of character. I might even eventually come up here and give it another another new fresh look. Um, but the only trouble is I've gotta be careful because it's gonna be extremely dangerous in here. Um, yeah, once the, once, the lid, once the lid goes on, that's it. So, because the roof is going to go pretty much here, bam, there. So, which prevents Enderman. We can have spiders, but spiders we can't get XP from, which is not a problem because what we're going to do is we're going to have a bit of cactus and a bit of sand. So, we're going to have to sacrifice a bit of sand. Um, there's going to be a lot of dirt sacrificed for a tree farm, but I'm going to literally do it minimal. Literally minimal. I'm going to have a tree farm where I'm going to have... Uh, I'm just going to try and work it out where I can use the soil sparingly because at the moment it's like we've only got that. That's the only dirt we've got and uh, it's not like we can get dirt anywhere else. There is clay down there actually, I forget about that. Um, but um, yeah, so guys thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one where we got to take care of this island, make it into another cobble island or even snow, might even make it snow, don't know yet. Um, but we're going to concentrate on removing this as safely as possible. Um, and I'm probably going to leave it, get it so that we can get a bit of dirt, the sacred bit of dirt somewhere. We need to keep that grass intact. We don't want to lose a grass block. So we're going to have to le literally leave one block. Guys, see you in the next episode.